And then. Oh, no. Oh, God almighty. Oh. House of Black versus Infantry. <laughs> I don't have the vocabulary to tell you how much I hated all this. Oh, it sucked. This was terrible, terrible, terrible. Not so much watching the match. Well, the match was long and boring and often sloppy. But the way this is all put together. You'll recall, a week or two ago, the infantry got promo time. First time they got in serious promo time on a major show. It was uh, Dynamite Collision. On Rampage. Still. Okay, this is a minor show, but... They were in there with FTR, clearly teasing in a cannon with FTR down the line. This is the one where FTR said, if we meet in the tournament, we'll murder you. You'll die. So, obviously, and I went over the brackets earlier. That's a match that will happen if Inf Infantry gets this one win here over House of Black. Okay, I'm thinking. House of Black, longtime trios champions. Total badasses. Everyone loves them. Infantry's going to have a hard-fought big win here and go in to face FTR on fire. What a fool I am. What a fool. <laughs> House of Black murdered these dudes. Mm-hmm. For days. Mm -hmm. So, kill him, and kill him, and kill him. It's finally a hot tag to Sean Dean. This poor guy gets the hot tag, goes to the top rope, trips, falls right in his face. Oops. Yeah. He did get right back up. But they just cut him off again. They killed him. He's dead. They turn to, is it Carly or Charlie Bravo? I think it's Charlie Bravo. Oh, Carly, somewhere here. But regardless, they invited this man into the ring to come and die. As they're killing him, he's in between them, and they're doing the, the punch him, and he turns around and gets punched by the other guy. At one point, Brody King barks at him, and this Bravo character, who is in the infantry, his gimmick, which is not a gimmick, is that he's combat trained, and when the giant barked at him, he screamed in terror. What a geek! They take him outside... They DVD him onto the table. The crowd is going crazy. They're going crazy cheering for the House of Black. The table didn't break. So Brady says, I'm going to break this table. I'm going to pile drive this fucker on it. Pile drives him onto the world's stiffest table. Brody is a big monster who, I don't want to say he never sells anything, but when he fell and immediately grabbed his tailbone, hello, oh, six months, he's out for the year. He's, he's done. So we go back in, and Buddy is a curb stomp. I thought, well, I mean, I guess that infantry FTR thing isn't happening now. Then he pulls the man up after the curb stomp. I wrote here, in all caps, oh, fuck off and end this. <laughs> Mark Briscoe arrives. He hits Buddy Matthews with a chair. Flees, but in the process is able to lure Brody King away. And whichever of these geeks in the infantry is in the ring rolls over, puts a hand on Buddy, and the ref counts three and win, and they win. There is no way that Tony Khan said, I want you guys to put over the infantry, but goddamn, make sure you kill them dead <laughs> and make them look like fucking morons before you do so. There's no way. There's no way he said that. This was a textbook example of how to lose to another team and not get them over in any way possible. In any way possible. They could not have looked worse with a win. Like, I don't think I could book a match in my imagination where a team could beat another team and actually look worse than these guys did. I was like, God. Did Kevin Rash and Kevin Nash write a how-to book? Even Nash would have put him over better. Like, God, this was just appalling. When this was done, I was so much less interested in FDR versus in in infantry than I had been 30 minutes prior. Of course. This was brutal, dude. This was just brutal. And then, <laughs> straight out of WWE, we had a main event promo. It was a great promo. That's a very good news. Mm -hmm. It's Adam Copeland, probably his idea to close the show this way. Uh, he does. He is a superstar. He gets the most sustained reaction the entire night. He addresses Ottawa, and he's from Toronto, and they don't like each other, but that's cool. And he mentions, uh, you know, we share a lot of history together, Ottawa. And you know, I didn't know if I'd ever perform here again, nor did I know if I'd ever perform in Toronto again. Fans go boo, and he goes, "That's my hometown. Come on!" And they go boo. <laughs> he's like, "All right, fuck." 
They did not like Toronto. Did not want to hear about it. They did not give a shit if it was his hometown. So he sits down and cuts an awesome promo about how Jay's dead. So he's talking to Christian Cage. I thought we'd be that's f- a new one. Mm-hmm. Usually they go, "I'm not talking to Christian. Yeah. I'm talking to Jay Riso." Yeah, yeah. This he goes the total opposite. I'm not talking to Jay. I'm talking to Christian. Yes. I was like, good. That's who you're wrestling. <laughs> no. You're not wrestling Jay. No. I thought we'd be friends forever, sipping scotch on the porch, talking hockey. That does sound awesome. So he's at World's End. He failed, and he had to come back and uh, earn a title shot, but they took him out with a concerto. So he got a call from another sociopath. He says they created Barbie, which I honestly don't remember. Well, I can tell you both. Okay. Barbie was a barbed wire bat that Mick Foley used in the 1990s. Okay. That was 25 years ago. Yes. And Janice, of course, was the barbed wire board, or the b- board filled with nails. Yes, the Abyss That had. Abyss used. I remember Janice. In, uh, in that was, but that was also in 2010. That was? That was 14 years ago. Yes, yes. Yeah. These were very dated references here. Yes. And so he created Spike, which is, in fact, a stick with spikes all over it. Yes. He remembers who he is. He's the rated R superstar. He has dark caves in his head you've never had. Me and Spike are going to take your pride. We'll take your ego, take your manlyhood. We will make you say, I quit. 40 years after the start in our hometown, it ends. This was awesome. That was a great promo. Man, it was awesome. But as a guy who also remembers the 90s, how can you reference Mick Foley and his Barbie barbed wire bed in the 90s and end your promo screaming the words, I quit? Mm. What a fucking noob. Yeah. How come how come Mrs. Foley's baby boy didn't smarten you up? You know how Rock lost that I quit or how Rock won that I quit match against Mick Foley? Yeah. Because Mick Foley did a promo and like an idiot in the go home promo he said, I will never say I quit. And then the Rock took that audio and he played it over the house, Mike. Yep. And that was a fuck finish. Mm-hmm. And Edge here screaming I quit into the mic. I was like, My God, how could you make this mistake? Now with that said, I mean, come on. We've done this how many times? This is the third time, third match they've had together. It's in Toronto. They better not do that fuck finish. That would be very they bad. They better not. Just end this thing. Edge needs to win, win the title in Toronto, and away we go. But that's all I could think when he screamed, I quit at the top of his lungs. thought the exact same thing. God. And it's funny because last time he mentioned it, he said, I, and held up the mic and the crowd shouted quit. Yes, he was uh, smart then. They figured yep. this out. So, yeah, I hope they do not do that. That would be terrible, but I'm sure that's what I thought. Because, that man, he's left himself vulnerable to that finish now. Yes, it's he did. It's a wrestling did. trope. What was a unique hairstyle worn by men in the 60s? Pompadour. Mop and conk, whatever what? that is. I beg your pardon, excuse <laughs> me? And, Cock and, and pump? conk. Say that yeah, one more time. Nobody else talk. Pop and conk? Yeah. Are you sure, Granny? <laughs> Read it again. Mem O P. Mop. Comma. Conk. Mop conk. Mop conk? Conk. C-O-N-K. <laughs> okay. Look okay. it up. Hey. All right. Mop conk? Mop conk? That's two different things. I know. <laughs> God damn it. Duh. <laughs> Why is she mad at us? Because <laughs> we're idiots. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.